what I can do now? I am so impressed. I've never seen anyone start a truck before. Laugh it up, loser. Don't What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be looking at our PCS3 emulation, and we're going to learn how to play Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions. I really like this game. Uh, it's something I never played when it first came out. I felt at the time that superhero games to me weren't really as important as kind of how they are now, where we're kind of in this world where everything is just multiplayer, online, battle royale type stuff. So it's really refreshing to go back and play some of these older Spider-Man games. Of course, with the recent release of uh, Marvel Spider-Man 2 on PC, which while that game has its issues on the PC port, I really had a lot of fun with that game. So without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, so first you're gonna come over to RPCS3's website and you're gonna make sure that you have the latest build of the emulator itself. Um, as of right now, the newest build is February 5th of 2025. So make sure you have that downloaded, ready to go. Uh, as always with my videos, I cannot tell you where these games are. You just have to do a little bit of internet searching and you should be able to find what you're looking for. All right, so first we're gonna right click on our game file and we're gonna go down to change custom configuration. Our first tab here we're gonna be looking at is the CPU tab. PPU decoder is set to recompiler. SPU decoder is also set to recompiler. SPU xfloat accuracy is set to approximate xfloat. Uh, leave all these alone here. SPU block size set to safe. Preferred SPU thread set to auto. Thread scheduler operating system. Under the GPU tab, uh, as you can see, I have my graphics card set here. If you have a laptop, make sure that you're using the discrete graphics card, not the onboard video memory. My renderer is set to Vulkan, 16 by 9 aspect ratio. The frame limit uh, is set to auto. Um, it works better, I feel, if you just set the V-blank frequency to the correct number, which is 120 hertz, and we'll get there. Anisotropic filter auto, anti-aliasing auto, Z-call accuracy set to precise. Default resolution is 720p recommended. Um, also, I also leave the resolution scale down to 1280 by 720, turning it up higher. I've had some issues in the past with the game not running properly, has graphics artifacting, things like that. So I just leave it alone. Output scaling is bilinear. Shader mode is set to async. Number of shader compiler threads, leave it at auto. All of this other stuff, I just leave it alone. There's not a lot you have to change here. So we're gonna jump right over to the advanced tab. Uh, under the core, PPU non-Java mode fix up, PPU, SPU, LLVM pre-compilation, you sleep only, unlimited default on the maximum number of spurs, clock scale 100%, scrolling down to Vulcan Q scheduler, leave it at safe, RSX FIFO accuracy is fast, exclusive full screen mode, mine is set to auto, most of my games are set to auto for that. Driver wake up delay, I leave it at one. Here is where you want to get uh, 60 frames per second in this game because it originally ran at about 30 or so on the PS3 and Xbox 360. So set it to 120 hertz. You can set it higher. However, um, you might run into some other graphical issues. You might have um, some visual artifacting, things like that. Um, this game doesn't run at a perfect 60. Uh, Playing through some of this game and also reading the Wikipedia about this from RPCS3 itself, the Spider-Man 2099 levels seem to have the most noticeable drops. There's a lot going on in those stages if you guys have played the game or you're aware of the comics or the character himself because he's set way in the future. Everything's futuristic. Um, you can go to the emulator tab here. Uh, everything is just pretty much the same, native interface. I'll leave this up here for a second so you guys can see what I have checked off. Now remember, some of these settings might be slightly different for you if you're not running a PC with, you know, higher frame rate, things like that, or, you know, GPU not powerful enough or CPU or whatever the case may be. These are simply the settings that work for the computer that I'm running and similar hardware. You can enable the performance overlay. Um, I do because I want to show you guys what the game is doing while it's running for this video. So once we're all done, we're going to apply and click save custom configuration, and I will see you guys in the game. Weird smell. Oh, right. Fresh air. I could enjoy being out of the city, but man, this suit is throwing me. I feel dirty. And not in a fun let's go clubbing way. Okay, gotta focus. That magic rock is around here somewhere. 
And I just figured out where. If it isn't the spectacular spider smut. Oh, dude, pants. No one wants to see your junk. Keep laughing, punk. See what I found? What do you think happens if I use it? Uh, interest rates go down? Yes. It's like my powers are totally unleashed. Now I can absorb all this energy. Energy without limit. And yet, still no pants. See what I can do now? I am so impressed. I've never seen anyone start a truck before. Laugh it up, loser. Don't! Oh. I'm about this! What the? Impressive, huh? Little version of you? No. Creepy. Time to call in oh. the cavalry! Ugh. Nice warm up, guys. Thanks. I'm moving at the speed of light. Hey, you got a license for that? Oh. Generator and like need some time alone. Let's get this party started. Oh, you can turn this place into a disco. Classy. What are you gonna do? Run forever? Oh. Oh. We're really sparking off each other here. Oh. Let's make this place sizzle. For Electro above the generators. Get back here, loser! <sighs> Can you do me a favor and recharge my MP3 player? Got you! <laughs> Let's go! Oh, that had to hurt! Drain! Yeah, right! Now that you mention it. Well, guess what, twerp? That's just one of the generators in this joint. And the more of them I drain, the stronger I'll get. All right, everyone. That's going to do it for me on this one. I hope you enjoyed this video. I put in a little bit of tutorial, a little bit of gameplay to show that this game is fully playable. With a few small hiccups here and there. Um, if you kept your eye on the top left side of the screen, you can see where the FPS was most of the time on my PC. If you have anything similar to what I was running or what I am running, then you should have a very similar experience. So thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'm trying to put out uh, a few of these videos anytime I can think of a game that I think would warrant, um, you know, setting it up on our PCS3 or any other type of emulator. So if you guys have any suggestions, please let me know down in the comments below. And uh, I will catch you all on the next video later.